We need to stare at the real data. And the real data says we're not on track for one and a half degrees. We're not on track for two degrees. We're on track for two and a half to three degree increases. The human impact, the nature impact, the economic impacts of that trajectory are massive and swamp by multiples what it would cost to actually tackle climate change. We need to think about four kinds of technologies. One is additional advanced reduction technologies, whether it's green steel, green aluminum, sustainable aviation fuel, hydrogen. We have these technologies that can help us reduce the emissions we make. Many of them are not cost competitive yet. Innovation can bring massive value. The second are removal technologies because we will not be able to just reduce all the way to a net zero world. The third is adaptation technologies because unfortunately we are very likely to exceed one 1.5 degrees, that means the impacts on nature, on people, on communities, on cities is going to be even greater than we realize. And then finally, it's the role of AI. AI has enormous potential to contribute to all of those areas with better materials, better systems optimization, better ways to spot and create early warning systems. How we embed AI to help on all three of those first fronts can make an enormous difference in the years ahead.